Okay, so we have a Cisco WebEx meeting here and we're gonna click join. And there, oh, hey, what, oh, what happened? Cisco WebEx unexpectedly ended this meeting. Try joining again. Well, that's no good. So the reason that happens is that the WebEx meeting has to be started before you can join from Teams Rooms. So let's pop over and start the WebEx meeting. Okay, in the background, I've started the WebEx meeting. So let's join it again and see what happens now. So far, so good. We don't see any error messages. And if we look at our second monitor, our front of room display, we can see that it's telling us that it's connecting. So far, so good. We're seeing connecting to WebEx. And there we go. Hey, here I am. So we're now connected. I'm down here in the bottom. This is the camera connected to my MTR that I'm waving at. Now uh, we can see down here, here's this show meeting on this device. So if I flip that, that takes us to the generic intro and this is on the console. So if I now hit the button again, you can see on the console I have the meeting controls. So if I tap on it, I can then, you know, enable camera, disable camera, enable microphone, disable microphone, all of that. And so this is touch screen. So if I flip back to the default, I don't have any of those meeting control options. You can see kind of the dots bouncing where I'm trying to click to make something happen. So you click this button and then you're able to put in some things. Now chat doesn't work. See there's a message down here. You cannot, uh, you can't send a chat message in the web app if you join the meeting from Microsoft Teams. Um, we can invite someone else if we had somebody and I, this is, keep in mind we're on the WebEx app now so we're, we're within the WebEx world we have left Microsoft Teams land so I'd have to search for somebody in my uh, WebEx world and then we can you know enable and disable cameras and things like that that's uh, that's a meeting join uh, how that looks I'm not sharing camera on the other screen in my WebEx meeting I'm not sharing camera so to not to confuse things too much. You cannot do a front of room HDMI connect. So if I were to try to take a laptop, connect it to the HDMI cable, it will not go into the WebEx meeting. It also doesn't support dual monitors. And that's really just a conflict between the WebEx app and the Teams Rooms design. This WebEx guest join is meant for temporary solutions. It's meant for just joining one or two meetings. It's not at all meant to be the primary driver on Teams rooms. It's just the way that if somebody sends you a WebEx join, you can join it, you can use your cameras, you can use your microphones, you can use touch control on the uh, console, and you can join the meeting. But advanced things just aren't supported. So if I now want to just cancel out, leave the meeting, there we go, we're back. So that is WebEx join on Teams rooms. Now let's look and see what happens on the uh, WebEx side. Here's the Cisco WebEx meeting page. You'll see, basically that's me down here on the Teams Rooms. That's my Teams Rooms camera down at the bottom that I'm waving. And we can see that conference room STP Avante 12 is the name that has joined the meeting. Now that is the display name that I have configured for my resource account. So that got pushed through. But if we wanna do, if we wanna change that to be something else, we can change that in settings on the console. So let's go and do that. Okay, we're back to the console on our Teams room. So let's go into settings and see how we can change some of these values. Oops. And I will go to meetings. And you see we have join with room info. Uh, I can go with join with custom info. And from here, I can type in a different name. So I could just say something like, um, So now I'll go and join that meeting again. And then we'll look and see what we look like on the WebEx side. Here we are on the WebEx meeting and we can see that we are now room one. So if you're wondering what those options are in the front of room console for the under WebEx meetings, that's what it does. It gives you an opportunity to change the way the name looks. So that is direct guest join with WebEx on Teams Rooms.